Colorado voters will be asked to legalize magic mushrooms in November. The Natural Medicine Health Act. Initiative 58, known as the Natural Medicine Health Act, has qualified for the November 8th general election ballot, says the Colorado Secretary of State's office. They said this on Thursday. If it passes, the Natural Medicine Health Act would effectively set the stage for a legal mushroom market by tasking Colorado regulators with creating rules around the cultivation, manufacturing, testing, transport, sales, and purchase of psilocybin and psilocin. These substances would not be for sale at dispensaries or stores, but rather at healing centers that would be licensed by the state. So that's the difference in legality right there. Uh, the goal of the measure, co-proponent Kevin Matthews told the Denver Post last month, is to make mushrooms available to locals 21 and up who are seeking therapeutic treatment. Psilocybin has yielded promising results in treating depression, PTSD, anxiety among the terminally ill, and even nicotine addiction in university studies. Because it sets up a new framework for treatment centers, regulators would also define the qualifications, education, and training requirements necessary for facilitators who administer the substances. Notably, the measure states municipalities cannot ban or prohibit the establishment of healing centers. So yeah, I'm pretty sure that the regulators are going to treat this slightly, if not much differently, than how the cannabis market is being ran and regulated. The, the mushrooms are not going to be sold in dispensaries and freely available uh, to the public, although adults 21 and up are freely available to trade and possess amongst themselves. And also this last part right here, notably the measure states municipalities could not ban or prohibit the establishment of healing centers. So cities within Colorado would not be able to say, if this passes, they would not be able to say, yo, we don't want mushrooms in, in our city. Although I, I kind of doubt that there would be any cities that would be super up in arms about it, although I would like to see... In 2019, Denver became the first city in the United States to decriminalize magic mushrooms. The measure calls for regulation to be in place for the state to begin accepting license applications by September 30th, 2024, and also establishes a natural medicine advisory board to consult with lawmakers throughout the process. After two years, regulators will be able to add other psychedelics, wicked, add other psychedelics include, including mescaline, dimethyltryptamine, DMT, and ibogaine to the regulated system which is cool we trial run with we trial run with shrooms okay that's great and then after two years if that does well then we start throwing other things in the mix like mescaline and dmt although i think they are going to use a synthesized version of mescaline if they if they use mescaline i don't think they will be using um actual peyote buttons that have been harvested from the wild because there is a, a cultural concern surrounding that regarding the um, the Native American uh, religious use and how uh, they are actually at risk of being wiped out if too many people just kind of go into the desert and start picking them. Okay, last part, there is a competing citizen-led proposal, Initiative 61, that calls for a statewide decriminalization of psychedelics without the establishment of a regulated market. That campaign, led by Decriminalized Colorado, is still collecting signatures and has until August 8th to submit its petition. Yeah, so that's pretty badass. I just wanted to let you know about that. Drop a like and subscribe if you appreciated the information. I'll see you next time. Oh, yeah.